Hello YouTube, I'm here today bringing you a tutorial on how to create a car in Gary's Mod. Why am I doing this? I don't know, I'm bored. Another reason is because it can be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And I'm not talking about a simple prop with four wheels. I'm talking a car with independent suspension and the wheels don't glitch out with hydraulics. Also with steering. And I will also be teaching you how to wire and set up ACF. That's Advanced Combat Framework. So let's get begin. And I have actually forgotten a very important part to building vehicles in Gary's Mod. Thankfully, I do it naturally now, but if you're going to build in Gary's Mod, you're going to have to build north. An easy way to tell which way north is, is by spraying your spray. But if you don't have a spray, on this map, it is north. The north is in that direction. So, I would recommend choosing a spray in your options menu by pressing escape, go to options, go to multiplayer, and change your spray here. So, for example, my spray is that. The top of my spray is in the north direction. First, you're going to want to get a prop. And it can be any prop you feel, because the way that this is set up, it doesn't matter how weird your setup is, you can still get a, work, work, a car that's working, as long as you go by these set of few rules. So let's go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and get some plate. We'll go for a reasonably sized plate. We'll go for 60 and 96. That's pretty small, but to be honest, it's good for this. So, you don't have to follow me at all when it comes to actually getting the props you want, but it can help you if you're learning. So, if you feel like you don't know exactly what you're doing, then go ahead and just follow exactly what I do. So, let's go ahead and get wheel 30. So, go ahead and put a wheel here. And there are a few tools that you're going to need for this to work. The first tool being precision alignment. It is very useful for not only building cars, but for building in general. I'll show you why here in a second. You see how I placed that right there? It'd be pretty hard to actually get it in place every time you want to build a car and you have to make sure it's perfectly aligned for everything. Well, with precision alignment, you can do something called mirroring. I'll go ahead and show you what that is. First thing you do, you go to precision alignment, plane hit post normal, hit the center of your vehicle's base plate, then go to plane normal, plane hit normal, click one side. Now you see how this green, this green plane is doing this? Next thing you need to do is you need to right click on the thing you want to mirror, press R, go to rotate functions, click mirror across plane at the bottom right, click plane one, and then click rotate entity while holding shift. There you go, a perfectly mirrored, 100% symmetrical wheel placement. Now all you need to do to get it on the other side is just hit on this side or make another plane doing the same thing I did and then pressing rotate entity with shift. A neat trick to know is that when you're doing multiple wheels, like if you're doing a six wheeled APC or something similar to that fashion, if you don't want to have to keep pressing R and holding shift, you can just press shift right click and it'll automatically stack and put it on the other side see the wheel that is blue is inside of that wheel right there but for now we don't need to do that because this is a four wheeled vehicle so what we do is we hit this side and then we rotate it again and there we go perfectly symmetrical in every way wheeled vehicle the next step in creating a vehicle is ropes rigid ropes these help the wheels stay where they need to be and allow them to go up and down while not letting them go left and right. So what to do next is you go to your precision alignment tool or rope tool if you feel the need, but I prefer precision alignment and for this tutorial I will be using precision alignment for anything that I can use it for. So you click on point mass center, click on the wheel you want to have roped then you go to print point hit post press shift and then click on one side of the base plate of the opposite side of the wheel and then click on another part of the base plate 
creating sort of a triangle if they were all connected by ropes. As long as you have a triangle, the wheel should function properly, and it doesn't have to be this kind of triangle. You can have point three down here, and it will function all the same. The wheel might be affected in some way, but I haven't seen a car that doesn't work. The wheel might be affected in some way, but the car will still work, and without many problems. But for this tutorial, I'm going to keep point three right here. So, the next thing to do is press R, go to Constraints, and then click Rope. After you click Rope, you're going to want to click on Entity 2 what point your wheel is. So in that case, it's point 1. Then you want to click on the opposite side of the base plate, either the 3 or 2. Click Create Constraint on both 2 and 3. Now that that's complete, you do the same for all four wheels. The next portion of the video will be sped up, but Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, so experiment, have fun with building. This isn't something that you need to impress someone else with, it's to have fun. While impressing someone else is good, um, just having fun is a better part of Gary's mod, in my opinion. After you've done the rope, make your wheel spherical with the Make Spherical tool. Don't change any settings as this might mess up the bounding box of your wheel. After your wheels have been made spherical, the wheels will roll properly now. But as to them being spherical, they will roll all weird like. We'll go over that once we get to that, but the next part of this video is setting up your wire hydraulics. The thing we're going to need for wire hydraulics is a prop to put your hydraulics on. So we'll go to blocks, or plates I'm sorry, and click on any size plate that you feel necessary for hydraulics. Remember, it is always a good idea to keep any wire chip you don't need to have on the vehicle off the vehicle as having props on a vehicle can cause lag or collision problems. So we're going to go to wire, hydraulics, which is usually if you scroll all the way down, it'd be right here, if your, all of your things are open. But the next thing we do is you click on the top left of your plate and then click over here and then put one down. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating a guideline as to where my wheels are on the car to the plate so I remember where things are. Now that you have your wire hydraulics set up, the next thing you want to do is do precision alignment, mass center on all four wheels, twice. Examine as what I do here. And keep in mind which ones you have set it to. So I'm going to start from the back right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next thing you want to do is right click on your base prop, press C and go to your precision alignment tool page. Click on every odd numbered point and click attach. As you see, I have attached all odd points that were in the center of each of these wheels to the base plate that's marked by the green line. What this means is I've essentially cut out a step of the usual method of putting a prop inside of this while using my center on the prop. I just found it a um, extra step that you didn't need to take. The next step is actually doing your wire hydraulics. Go to precision alignment, right click on your first wheel. And that is in the order of which you did the points. As I did, I went from this side to this, to this, to this. So I'll do the same order with my wire hydraulics. You go to constraints, wire hydraulic, odd to even, create constraint. And then go to your next wheel, and then go odd to even, three, four, create constraint. And do this for all wheels. Remember to change wire hydraulics, as this can cause problems if you don't. 
There you go. You've successfully set up wire hydraulics. The next thing you need to do is get a constant value, but in our case, I have an ACF setup card that I created myself. I will be sharing this with everyone so that they can have it as well. This makes setting up cars with ACF very easy. The reason is, is because all the values you need are inside this chip. If you need to edit any values that you feel that are too high or too low, right click on the chip and change them right here. But I feel, as for many vehicles, these settings are just fine. Remember, the E2 chip will be in the description. The next thing you're going to need is a pod controller. This is almost necessarily for any vehicle you're going to create. Next thing you want to do is go to Wire Advanced. You wire W to W, constant to constant for all four wire hydraulics. Damping to all four wire hydraulics. There you go. The vehicle is now set up and ready to be used for suspension. Although the wheels have been, been set up correctly though. I'll show you what I mean right now. Get your duplicator tool, whether it's regular duplicator or advanced duplicator, and duplicate your contraption. After this has been set up, go ahead and press R once on your vehicle. This is absolutely normal, as it may not seem, but it is. We're going to fix that by going to our weight tool. This is also a very, very needed tool to do what we need to do for our vehicle. What you want to do is you want to set your base plate higher than your wheels. So for example, every wheel in S props is 100. I'm going to set it at 150. Most people will probably have it at 1000 or 2000, but I prefer 150 to keep it as light as possible for ACF. So I'll go ahead and show you that this does work, unless I've done something completely wrong and I have to restart this tutorial. Nope, I don't have to restart it. As you see, it works perfectly fine, but the wheels are freaking out for two reasons. One, I haven't no collided the wheels to the base prop and two, they haven't been ball socketed to anything. So we're going to go ahead and no collide the wheels to the base plate. This can be done easily with no collide multi or with regular no collide. No collide multi is very simple by clicking all the props you want to be no collided and then right clicking. With no collide, regular no collide, you have to do every single wheel to the first prop and just in case if anything weird happens, you can no collide every wheel to each other. Okay, that's complete. It was already no collided, but I decided to show you that just in case you didn't have multi, multi no collide. Now that no collide has been set up and the wheels won't touch the base plate anymore, you're going to want to do ball socketing. For ball socketing, it is very easy and can be done wrong very easily just as well. First you want to do is get these settings exactly. Make sure free movement is checked. And there, that's all you have to do is for the advanced ball socket. I would recommend saving a preset such as suspension adjustment like I do. The next thing you want to do is click on this side. Click on the center of each wheel, um, the back wheels in this case, because we're going to be doing steering. Click on the center of the back wheel, and then click on the center of your prop on the side. Do this for both back wheels. Now the back wheels won't change direction like they were before. They'll only go straight like this, but they will still roll. The next thing we're going to need is a steering thing. I call it a steering thing because it's an E2. This will also be in the description if you can't find it anywhere. It is in the description, I promise you that. If when you spawn the chip, it doesn't change into this, then you have a setting disabled for wire mod. 
The setting that you need to enable will be in the description below. The next thing you need to do is you need to go back to Wired Advanced and then wire up your steering P2. A to A, D to D, chassis to the base plate. The next thing you need to do after that is ball socket these two front wheels to this correctly. I will now show you how to do that. Go to ball socket advanced, make sure it's selected. Go down here to your left wheel, click on the center of it. Then on the left side of the prop, click on the center of it. Do this for the other wheel on the opposite side of the prop, or the E2. You now have a functioning car, without an engine of course, but I'll show you that very soon in the other video. And duplicator. Here's your working car. That might be because of the weight. Then again, it's Gary's mod. It seems to be of... yes. If your vehicle is twitching, you might want to increase the weight because weight is still a very important thing and having low weights can cause this. But it doesn't have to be 2,000. You just have to make it marginally heavier than the wheels. But bouncing is still a case. Increase the weight until it stops bouncing. So I, don't, I will now demonstrate that it works, the steering and the suspension. Steering works correctly. Suspension works correctly. You can rotate. Wheels are rotating. And you can have the wheel all the way over here and it will return to its position without problem. The next thing we'll be doing is setting up ACF. But that will be in the next video, because I've decided to make this two videos, as this has been almost a half an hour. I'm going to edit this one first, and then I will post it, and while it's being posted, I will be doing the other tutorial. I will instruct you on how to do ACF in the next video. Thank you for watching, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.